So we're heading to Vegas today. Vegas! So we're driving from Phoenix. About four and a half hours. Hence I think. all this stuff behind us. We don't always do one pack travel. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, when we get the opportunity not to, we're like, must have all your things. <laughs> so we got some like bananas and some other drinks and stuff we're bringing too. So half the fridge and half our closet and yeah. for like three days. So makes sense. So we're meeting some friends that we actually met when we were in Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah, she was on assignment. Yeah. So they got into town yesterday. They're actually going to Sedona today. And then they're meeting us in Vegas tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the drive to Vegas. But we're going to stop a couple places. Not sure exactly I'm where yet. So I don't want to say where we're going exactly. <laughs> we'll see where we end up stopping. We just picked out a couple quirky places to stretch our legs. So, Poor cow gal can't go with us. Yeah, we gotta take <laughs> her and drop her off at the kennel for a couple days. At camp. We're gonna take her and drop to her camp. off at camp for a few <laughs> days. And then we're hitting the road. So join along as we drive to Vegas. Spooky fingers. Spooky fingers. <laughs> All right, I was intrigued by a town called Nothing, Arizona. It's not a town anymore. I think the population used to be four, but uh, the Arizona DOT installed a call box, the town sign read, this makes me laugh. Town of Nothing, Arizona, founded 1977. The staunch citizens of Nothing are full of hope, faith, and believe in the work ethic. Through the years, these dedicated people had faith in nothing, hope for nothing, Worked at nothing for nothing. I don't know why I thought it was so funny. So we stopped here. Kind of stretch our legs too. But this is it. That's the whole town. Well, this is pretty cool. So we're driving north on 93 towards, that's our next spot, towards Vegas. And we just stopped because it said there was like a scenic out overlook and we stopped and like this is our view. But if you actually look at the map, I didn't realize this is naive. I didn't realize how big Lake Mead was. We're all the way down here and what we're seeing here is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little portion of everything. So I thought it was neat. So we just got to uh, the Hoover Dam. Insider's note, if you cross the dam, you can go all the way up here and you can park for free. Instead of paying $10, just a little insider tip for you. I also have four fun facts because nobody asked about the Hoover Dam. Are you ready? 
first one. The Hoover Dam created the U.S.'s largest reservoir, Lake Mead. It is approximately 248 square miles. Number two. It is actually the second largest dam in the U.S., originally the largest dam. Second to the Oroville Dam in California. Number three. It took the world's largest refrigerator to cool all the concrete in that dam. That is a lot of concrete. And number four. It was originally called the Boulder Dam and it was renamed in 1947 for Herbert Hoover, United States President. Those are your fun facts about the Hoover Dam. Now we're gonna go walk across and we're gonna pour some water in it. What's the deal with the water? I've never heard that. I didn't even know that. Is it good luck? Oh my gosh, I love you. Okay, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and I have one bonus fact for you. There was a city that was created to hold all the workers for the dam and it was called Boulder City. Those are your five fun facts since you got a bonus one. Now let's go. <laughs> Alright, so this may be like the fifth time I've tried this, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I've been trying to do. Ah! So it's supposed to blow back up because of a really loud truck driving behind us. Because of the updraft. Or you'll have to look at other videos or something. I'm just wasting water now apparently. Okay, that's enough wasting water. Oh, there's blowing a little bit. Womp womp. <laughs> Hey guys, we got into Vegas yesterday, yeah. actually. Drove in. And, uh, I drove because we don't have a camper. So. <laughs> uh, we just wanted to give a couple tips and tricks that we've found over the years. I don't know about tricks, but something that we have used for years is an app called My Vegas, and it's basically just a time-wasting app. It's like a slot machine app, but you actually earn like loyalty points or rewards, and then you can use those for rewards in Vegas. So it's an MGM thing. So any of the MGM properties, which I couldn't name offhand, but there's there most of a them lot of them. Um, <clears throat> so like buy one, get one free buffets, which we used last night at Mandalay Bay. We've eaten there before um, for shows or percentages off of tickets, all kinds of things. But always look at your blackout dates because it's Valentine's Day today, so a lot of them were eligible, which we didn't honestly think of ahead of time. Yeah. And they have to be like booked, wait, used within 30 days of actually purchasing them. But if you don't know exactly what you're going to be doing, what day, it's hard to pick them ahead of time, and then they sell out. So there's been a lot of that too. But honestly, it's good. We saved what like 35 bucks at least last night on one of the buffets. So. My Vegas. Definitely check it out if you haven't done that. This is our first time staying in an Airbnb mm -hmm. in Vegas. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things that don't discount Airbnbs either. So It's nice, though. It's in, like, a little resort-type community. There's a pool and a hot tub we still haven't checked out. Um, futon was nice for a little nap today. That's pretty much all we've done. We ate yes. breakfast and chicken now, which was nice. So we're going to go get some food. Yes. We're going to relax tonight. Mm -hmm. Our friends Josh and Laura are getting in Yay. tonight, so we're going to go out and eat and then meet them this evening. So we're not taking cameras with us, no. so there won't be a whole lot of Vegas I think footage. I think I might slip the GoPro in my purse or something and do some shots of the, the strip. I've called it the boulevard. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, 